Friends of Christ, Pastor Brian here. I've been thinking about relationships a lot recently. Now, relationships between people or nations, between institutions and individuals, are governed and guided by many things. History plays a role, personal experience, certainly, cultural and religious norms. And often these things affect our relationships and we don't even realize it. I watch what's going on in Ukraine. I study the history of Russia and Ukraine, Putin's personal experience and beliefs about the breakup of the Soviet Union. And I see in all of that the basis for the war that is happening right now. I watch conflict between our fellow citizens in this country, how it's shaped by many forces, certainly history, personal experience, cultural norms, and how this does not seem to be enough to guide us beyond the conflict. I hear the conversation around the incident at the Oscars between Chris Rock and Will Smith, how the reactions to that incident are shaped by our own experiences. I heard the challenge, both mental and physical, that having alopecia can be about freedom of speech for artists, norms for if or even when physical violence is appropriate. Was it even all staged? They're actors, after all, and apparently can't have any real moment, none of which can seem to guide us into anything but disunity about what happened and how to react to it. I wonder if we don't need to consider a new foundation for our relationships with one another. The older and younger brother in the parable of the prodigal son both have a transactional view of their relationship with their father of things owed to them by their father, but also the other way around. Neither can understand the basic foundation that their father uses, that he loves them both because they are his son, that his love is freely given, not earned or owed. This is the foundation for relationships that God exhibits towards us. Unearned love freely given because we are all of us, regardless of gender, nationality, religion, sexual orientation, we are all created in the image of God. This is the foundation of the relationship God calls us into with each other. A self-sacrificial love towards each other just because we all bear the image of God and are deserving of respect and care for that if nothing else, what would our relationships be like if that was the basic starting point? That everyone approached each other with the basic thought that this person bears the image of God. That I assume the best of them even when they are at their worst. How much conflict would we avoid? Because how often is that based on misunderstanding, on reacting towards them, assuming the worst, especially if we have experienced that in our own past? If our building block for all relationships was one of love, freely given for who they are, created in the image of God, if we did that, what kind of future could we build together? How would that help us navigate our conflicts, our mistakes, and lead us to a greater unity? We would still be shaped by history, personal experience, cultural norms, but over time, all those would be oriented towards a foundation of love, one that ultimately leads to mutual respect, care, upbuilding forgiveness, ultimately reconciliation. Jesus died on the cross in part because we don't have this foundation of love. 
and so that we might be freed from all that prevents us from doing so. As we come ever closer to Holy Week and the final journey with Jesus to the cross, I invite us to pray about our own relationships, to ask for the help of the Holy Spirit to grow in love towards one another, to see where we might change our own thinking about one another, so that in our lives and relationships, the reign of God might come that much closer on earth as it is in heaven. Thanks be to God.